And in the following two weeks, which is a three-week period. And in the following two weeks, which is a three-week period. And in the following two weeks, which is a three-week period. You shall slowly come to the fore. And God says, once you recognize the man that I have raised up, pray. For the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the White House. A window of grace and mercy before I do what was written in these books. He said, count from today, August 22nd, which would be September 22nd of this year, which would be September 22nd of this year. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near you, your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hey, how are you doing today? There we are. Hi, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Good to see everybody. So before we start, I'll kind of get your thoughts about what happened last night before we dive into what we're going to talk about today and how that affects the markets. And Actually, just before the podcast, I got a prophecy so the lord actually gave a prophecy to janie good good very good friend of mine uh and so i actually uploaded that and so hopefully we can hear it today but basically god forget about my opinion the lord has a lot to say about this so it's incredible so two and a half three minute prophecy we'll play it later hopefully you staff can get it uploaded it's uh second i think the number 23 in the deck of videos but yeah there's god's got a lot to say about this and i think the viewer is going to love what god the father has to say but basically he's, he's very upset for what's going down and so he talks about it very clearly wow so team when you have that video ready just give me a holler and we'll play that vi video that uh number 23 on the deck that bo's referring to yeah right. it's literally it's right off the press um jamie just seriously got it an hour ago well Andrew? i think by um I think by looking at, at uh, what happened last night, it just shows how important it is for all of us to uh, take control of our own future and make moves, not just to help our our finances and our wealth, but also our, our well-being by way of, of politics, because it looked like a pretty big mess from what I could see. Yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, it's going to affect the, the financial market. She actually referenced her, her her financial plan, which I don't even know what her financial plan is. I think President Trump said that. What is your plan? Tell us your plan. Uh, and I love the part where he said, because uh, she steals all his plans. You want a MAGA hat with that? So uh, he, he got the best of that. So <laughs> interesting times. And we just, and he mentioned, uh, which ties into silver, gold, finances of the world. I just saw CBS reporting that uh, Blinken, our Secretary of State, is sending more millions of dollars to the Ukraine. Uh, this is after President Trump last night talked about $250 billion. I don't know if you, you both have heard that number. When he said that three times last night, I knew it was in the billions, but I had no idea it was $250 billion sent to Ukraine. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot for sure. But it's, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, th this election is going to come down to the wire again. And uh, it really is important for us to to um, do our part in everything. 
couple points um, of what was spoken yesterday because uh, she actually brought up the you know the stu two state solution uh, that was referenced. So understand um, that's biblical. Okay, so when that event happens, you have to understand like you don't want this to happen right now because a two state solution literally means um, I think the prophetic word was. They've uh, divided my land. Now I will divide theirs, meaning the United States, and that's literally going to split the United States in half. So that's so that's in the future. Okay, so um, you know, so we've got to have a biblical intervention here. Like, uh, bottom line is, okay, the things that were spoken that they're trying to bring on these are all the plans of Satan. And unless we do have a biblical intervention, and they've shown us very clearly what they can do. We've seen in 2020 what they can do with elections. Yep. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. What's to stop them from replaying what they did in 2020 on a magnitudes even greater? Nothing. Okay. So the point I've, I've, I've said here and I'll say again is unless when, and again, we are going to, not like unless as Pastor Dave and I know, God's going to do something. You know, we've, we've got his glory is coming upon uh, the world. So we're going to see a biblical intervention in this podcast. I've got a couple of videos to, uh, you know, to even back up, you know, what we're seeing from, from prophecies particularly. But yeah, it just nothing uh, will change. These people have only one playbook and that is to bring on Satan and the Antichrist onto the earth and a one world government that's that is their plan and but there's always that but god's appointed times and seasons for these things and it's not the time and it's not the season because god's about to do something truly biblical and it's actually been written in the stars uh, and we'll talk about it as well too so i just wanted to you know kind of start that off as well too in, in this podcast so hopefully you're, you're definitely going to get that video upload as well too we can listen to what the what the father has to say about the that talk yesterday because that was that was it, it was the most um frustrating thing i didn't really want to watch it and then when i watched it i just got angry not angry but just like very extremely frustrated because all you saw was these little spew it was just spewing lies upon lies upon lies and twists of the truth that's all it was Yep. That's all it was. And we had to sit there and endure this, this, this hatred to our country and endure this, these lies and just listen to it. It was truly uh, disgusting. And so it was very, very frustrating for those of us that did listen to it. Uh, so we had uh, Rudy Giuliani on today of the 9-11 anniversary and talked about that. And we brought up four things that uh, he's heard of. And I, my intel sources have told me in the last two or three days where we know God is going to have to intervene. One is cyber attacks taking our uh, our grid system uh, is imminent. Uh, Cash Patel even talked about that as a warning. Uh, actual terrorist and civil unrest in all 50 states is what they're planning. Sheriff, uh, Sheriff uh, Mack has been talking about that. There's also talk out of the State Department that Zelensky's not doing what uh, the, the cabal wants to do, and they're going to try to blame, blame Russia on some kind of event in Ukraine to create World War III, and also Iran around the cyber attacks. And then I was given two anonymous calls, uh, voicemails. One was a voicemail, one was an email yesterday. A hospital in the Midwest and a hospital in North Carolina, they're ordering supplies like they've never ordered supplies before. Uh, they are taking their, their, uh, lunchroom, their cafeteria, making an extra ER. Uh, they are telling their employees to bring extra clothes. Uh, something big is going to hit in the next two weeks and they may not be able to have to leave. So there are a lot of attacks ready, primed up from the enemy. The prophetic voices are echoing that. We had Barry Wunsch on to say the same thing, but God. I think you said that, Bo, but God, God is going to come through and show the light. There's going to be a big surprise. So we do have the video. You want to play the video now? That'd be great. Let's play it. This came to me on September 11th of 2024 at 8.45 a.m. Thus saith the Lord. America shall go through a trialing time now as the sickle is put forth and thrusted into the earth. Look closely again, the word sickle. This is because the world in the state, it has become is sick and sickness fills this earth in this very hour. Depravity of the soul, starving for light, starving for light and what is right. For this sickness shall be removed starting with my very body who is supposed to be representing me, are you? For this very day, September 11th, that was chosen in time by me, was for all of you to wake up and to come to me, but you have not chose nor liberty. For as you call this a debate, 
for one, has sealed her fate. My Trump, this is not a debate, but stands for injustice and lies with pure hate. For I despise in this hour who stood for injustice and will not reign by my power. For you stood, as I had said, for the attempted assassination will now be upon your head. Kamala, you have sold out your soul. But do you know how many now reap upon your head of coals? Many, for you are bringing in more confusion to my people, stealing their minds. And for you, oh, how this will fit you when you are tried for this crime. Lying to my people, for I will no longer stand for this. For as a turn of my hand, as you chose, you shall fall into the abyss. You choose to stay carefully, carefully what you have done, for it is better that you were not born than to run. Run against Trump for the elections. Running in a race that you did not belong in, for you have created much sin. Choose wisely now who will be your God. For as Jezebel, you know the end of her who was eaten by the dogs. For you ran your mouth against my anointed son. Now, as you have spoken and created all evil, shall fall and come undone. Undone for all the world to see what lies, murder, and deceit are in a bad seed of fruit that rots upon a tree. I give you hope in this hour, my America, for as I have spoken, all corruption shall be sealed, bruised, and broken. For my Revelation 12, stars of my seed has come to crush, push back Satan. For now watch us all who are three, bringing back truth and light to America's foundations. For the greatest show I shall give, remember as I give you more signs for what lies ahead. Make sure you are with me and not the man of perdition. For in hell, there is no life as you choose your state and condition. Yes, there are many levels down below, but as I say, you choose, not me, as to where you shall go. My Donald, I love you. For you always have stood for what is true. Continue to fight as I know you will for my America, the red, white, and blue. For there is always time on my timeline to turn back to me. For yes, only you decide where you shall go and where you will be. Yes, the end always comes, for it is better to be quiet than to run. He's talking about Camilla running against Donald Trump. And I got Psalms 82, and he said, Jesus, you win, my son. You win to take down sin. Amen. And in the following two weeks, which is a three-week period, you shall slowly come to the fore. And God says, once you recognize the man that I have raised up, pray, for the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the White House. For Jezebel has chased away the prophets and even Elijah. Come on. Now I have said, go back. For this shall be dismantled so that there will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit. Wow. You know what's encouraging, Bo, about prophecy is these prophetic voices that we, we both know. I, I don't know, Janie, but the, the rest of the prophetic voices that we've we've trusted, they don't hear from each other. They don't listen to each other. And God is telling them something, th the same thing, but different ways, and it's confirming itself. It's crazy because she just got it this morning. So I'm trying to make the edits and upload it to you guys quickly before I do the podcast. And then just I'm doing that, I'm hearing Jezebel, Jezebel prophecy from Kim Clement. So I couple that into with it. And just as I'm playing that prophecy, it says it shall be two weeks into the fall. So the prophecy of Kim Clement spoke specifically about two weeks that then head into the fall which is september 22nd yep. and summer september 23rd is the first day of fall and we're in virgo god's reference directly through janie that was a revelation 12 sign i was been speaking about specifically revelation 12 sign when was revelation 12 sign september 23rd 2017 and then we know biblically the number seven Seven years is this September 23rd, the day before that is the last day of summer. Virgo's about to give birth, and when you read Revelation 12, verse 3 and 4, it says the dragon, China was the dragon, this is the year of the dragon on top of that. So the dragon tries to devour the child, the man-child is born, but then God intervenes and scoops up the child meaning god intervenes so there is your scripture of what's about to happen god intervenes it's written revelation 12 verses 3 through 4 it's right in there 
And it's wild how all these prophetic voices like Pastor Dave is saying, they're all saying the same thing in their own way because it comes from the same place, God. And so I did a podcast just the other day, and it's just incredible how these prophetic voices are saying such similar things, but they're in their own way, but it's the same message. Fasten your seatbelts. That's the message. And specifically, he even gave Janie, um, I, if we want to play the video or not, but bottom line is he gave Janie a countdown clock. We're in a 30-day countdown. Wow. So I was talking, texting with her on the 20. Third, if you actually want to play the video, it's the video 24. Uh, it's one minute, but it's you can listen to it if you can get uploaded in time. Like, I just made that this morning as well, too. But it's specifically, um, it was the 24th of August. We were 23rd of August. We were texting, and God actually gave her the scriptures to all of this, uh, of the, calculating the time. And then specifically, he said, today we start a 30-day countdown. And the 30-day countdown ends on September 22nd. Wow! Wow! So and then see, remember we played all the, the vi- remember we played all the videos last time. We go back to our prior uh, interview that we did, but we talked about how Hollywood is talking about September twenty second, twenty third, and twenty fourth. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. these cataclysmic end times related movies you see this very subliminal but very clear message of September 22nd 23rd and 24th and what it basically is saying is that even Hollywood meetings Satan's channel knows that there's going to be some kind of intervention but they're mocking it yeah nothing happened yet right but the, the point is since nothing happened on Revelation 12 in 2017 you got to count seven years forward. And so we count seven years forward. It's this September. God's told Janie it's a th- we're in a 30 day countdown window. And then you've, and then Pastor Dave, you interview a lot of people and you've got a handful of prophets that are all screaming something's about to go down. And you and I've been, and the three of us actually have been talking specifically for the past few months about a gold spike, a silver spike that's about to manifest on the earth. And I heard very clearly you're never going to see silver particularly silver, explode in price ever, 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 ever until God's kingdom is birthed. So it's fun to be here because, you know, you can't stop what's coming. That's the cool part of this because you can't stop prophecy. The prophecy is true. No man can stop what's about to happen. Okay. That was, that's scriptural. And so all you can do is prepare. And so that's why it's so important to, you know, to understand if you've got finances in the bank, you got digits in the bank. You don't have money. The money, that, the digits you have in a bank are a total fraud created by Satan. You think you have wealth, but you don't. You just have digits. And when God flips the financial scales, we're going to play a few more prophecies here. I'm telling you, you're going to hope that you called Andrew months ago, you know, because you don't want to be one day late. You better off to be two years early yep. because God only needs one so, Andrew, you want to touch upon that? I mean, just the reports I got in the last two or three days, it's intensifying. And more publicly, you know, I talked about Ukraine, uh, Russia, Iran, cyber attacks, uh, uh, terror throughout all the 50 states, hospitals on some kind of watch of something they don't even know that's coming. If just one of those things happened, what would that do to run on silver and gold? It, it would really... Uh, the gold and silver that's available would dry up and we'll go back to a two or three week delay on deliveries. I mean, it would definitely happen. I mean, I'm just sitting here soaking all this in. If the prophetic voices are all pointing toward events in September, then October, we've got the BRICS summit where they're expected to announce a new payment system, which is uh, basically de-dollarization of the globe. We've been talking about it now for probably two years, but that's going to be their official announcement. Then we have the no- the November election, 
And then whatever happens in the election, close to half the country is going to be um, disputing the results. And that's going to take up the rest of the year and into, into January. So I think that preparation is key. It's it's like put your seatbelts on because the ride's getting ready to go. And uh, even if it isn't, you want to be prepared. OK, we've got um, what's happening in Ukraine is just um, is just really like really unbelievable with um, who's funding who and, and what's being done. So like um, with us taking the um, with us um, um, doing the sanctions against Russia and then going and using those dollars to help um, help Ukraine in that war, we've really thrown fuel into the fire where, where um, now the creation of BRICS has spawned out of that. And uh, and this this is happening. I mean, the dollar, as we know it, is for sure gone. Gold has been hovering at about $2,515 an ounce. The all-time high is $2,523. We're very, very close to just seeing it, seeing it shoot up over $2,600 an ounce in a week. If that happens, silver could shoot past a $32 point that uh, seems to be the level that it needs to break through. So everything's happening now. This is the point where the people that are really ahead of the game are making the moves to to prepare themselves and most people are going to wait until it's uh, until this is already started and it, it won't be too late then it's just more advantageous to do it now especially if you have a 401k or ira as Bo said you know it's not talk i told the story probably six eight months ago that i and the digits and one of my accounts literally was gone that stock didn't exist anymore. It was a Chinese stock that I had from a long time ago. Gone. So this is this is real. How do they move on 401k and IRA? So definitely reach out to us on bh-pm.com. And um, but it is important. We can help you roll over 401ks and IRAs into precious metals IRAs. And uh, financial advisors tend to tell people that that when you do that, that it's a taxable event. But it definitely is not. You can roll over any retirement account into a precious metals IRA account as long as it's uh, one that uh, as long as you're not at a four a company where say the four hundred one k was created at that company and you still work there. That's the only time that you can't do it. So definitely reach out to us so you can learn how that's done. Right by doing it now, you could uh, you could position yourself where you could potentially make money with gold and silver. It, Typically, that's our, only our secondary goal. Usually, we're trying to pr to protect what we have. But I'm getting calls from people that um, they're asking uh, to sell back a portion of what they bought, say, three, four years ago. And, and these people bought gold when it was like seventeen or eighteen hundred dollars an ounce. Mm -hmm. Many of them bought silver when it was at twenty or twenty one dollars an ounce. And, and they're calling back and they're having to sell a portion of it to meet a financial need, but they're actually making money on it. And typically with metals, that doesn't happen in that short of a type or time frame. All right, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back after that. Beverly Hills Precious Metals Exchange is a client-focused firm devoted to assisting our clients with precious metals. Our clients range from first-time to serious coin collectors and investors seeking to add precious metals to their investment portfolios. We are not interested in volatile investments, leveraged products, and intangible assets. With rising inflation and the devaluing of the dollar hurting middle-class families, investing in gold and silver ensures protection for your hard-earned money. Save the value of your money today by investing in gold and silver at Beverly Hills Precious Metals. All right, we're back. We're going to start with video 24 about a prophecy. I asked a window for what? A window of grace and mercy before I do what was written in these books. He said, count from today, August 22nd, 3rd, well, Eve, which would be September 22nd of this year. Let's read that line again. Okay. Why this is such an important time point. We'll explain in just a minute with regard to Revelation 12, but read that line again. A window of grace, the 30-day countdown. Right. A window of a grace, grace and mercy before I do what was written in these books. He said, count from today. Janie and I were speaking via text on the 23rd of August. And when you do the calculations, 30 days takes you precisely to September 22nd of this year. Wow. The last day, the last day of summer. And what did you, you mention the Yellowstone like we talked in the break? What is Yellowstone? 
Right. So, yeah. So she had his, this is pretty fun because, so she had another prophecy um, and I'm not getting all, but it was on my, it's on my channel if you want to hear it. But bottom line was God revealed to her. And this is interesting because in a second, we're going to play the prophecy of, of Kim Clement. There are two E's that I see. One E is the word erupt. The other is earthquake. Many are prophesying about earthquakes. But there is a national park where there is an eruption under the earth. It is a sign that I shall contain that which would try and be destructive in this nation. A volcano as a sign. And then there will be another earthquake, says the Lord. Keep your eyes open, for this sign is to cause the earth to yield of its produce that the great E may come forth rapidly. This is my promise, says the Lord. Therefore, take heed today. As you come to me and strike the rock, I will release that which has been held back from you and cause triumph to be sounded in your mouths, says the Lord. Come on. Summer. Summer. Riches. To spring. I will be the mediator, says Summer. I will uncover. I will defend. My sun will shine. But yet beneath the earth, there is a rage. Eruptions. Summer says, why choose they me? Why do the tornadoes, the hurricanes choose me? I am summer. I bring smiles. I bring sunshine. I bring warmth. Yet, summer, take it. For thus says the Lord, I will prosper my people. I will prosper my people. For the summer shall bring forth much in thee. Temperatures, strange July, strange July. It talks about summer, the mediator, and we're in the summer, the mediator right now because summer doesn't end until coincidentally, because there aren't any, September 22nd. So summer ends on September 22nd. We're in Virgo, Virgo's Revelation 12 sign. You can't make this stuff up. This is incredible. So we're watching all this manifest. And so what the prophecy was, Kim Clement stated, you're going to see an eruption in a national park. Okay, so all I know is that, yes, we've seen an eruption in Yellowstone, a, a small one in July, okay? But Kim Clement speaks in a prophecy, and I think it's that one. Yeah, he talks about the two. Yes, in that one, he says the great E. So my question: What is that? Okay, when he Kim Clement says the great E, well, we know E's for earthquakes and eruptions. Okay, so Kim Clement's saying the great one. There's an there's an E coming, an earthquake, but a great one. Well, that's interesting, and that's supposed to happen in summer. Well, we're still in summer. So I don't know what all this means. I'm just trying to put, you know, we all see through the glass dimly, but I'm just trying to put as many pieces together as possible. Then we got another prophet that says the earth will rumble and evil will crumble. So what are we talking about? The, the collapse of the Babylonian system when the earth rumbles. And this is not when New York rumbles or California rumbles. No, no, no. When the, when the earth rumbles. Okay, so we got that prophecy, and then we got specifically, so Kim Clement's talking specifically about an eruption in a national park, and then specifically Janie actually was told specifically that we're going to see an eruption in Yellowstone. So my, it was, we're joking on the podcast, but I said, hey, Andrew, do you know any Yellowstones? That would be gold. Gold. So the prophecy is when you see the eruption in Yellowstone, you can't make this up. That marks the start of the great wealth transfer. And to, to put a cherry on the top of that Sunday, Barry Wunsch today on his glory said the Babylonian system is coming down. Silver and gold is going to, going, uh, going to explode. And it's the greatest wealth transfer in the history of mankind. Yep. Because if you don't own God's money, Haggai 2 8 says very clearly enough, if you don't own it, right? If you don't own God's money, when he flips the financial scales, his money rises to the surface 
and the other financial system collapses. And it's this is a trillion dollar system, so it's going to take a little while. But like I, we've said before, we're going to see. And I appreciate Andrew because Andrew is like you know the the reasonable one in this conversation. <laughs> because we, and I'm joking because when you from a biblical perspective, the things that I'm talking about are crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, Bo's crazy and Andrew's reasonable, and I appreciate that. That's why this is a fun podcast, right? Because from a perspective, yeah, you know, uh, silver breaking above thirty two hundred, uh, thirty two dollars, gold breaking above twenty six hundred, twenty seven hundred. Yeah, all these things are possible, coming and reasonable. But the problem is, you know, from a reasonable perspective, that's our perspective. That you know, if that we would think about, like I agree with with that, with Andrew saying. But then when you just throw God in the mix, right? Everything that's reasonable becomes not not necessary because God makes impossible possible. And that's why I've said in a single day, we're going to see silver go from where it is now to 68 to $70 in a single day. In a single day, gold's going to go from where it is to four, over $4,000 in a single day. And so again, that's crazy, Bo. And I agree with you, but when God intervenes, it's the farthest thing from crazy. It's, it's expected. And so, you know, uh, there's a pr prophetic of uh, uh, Kent Christmas said, you know, for those of you sitting on the fence to see which, which side won, it's a stupid place to sit because Satan owns the fence, bottom line is what I'm saying, okay? And so my question to Andrew is very simple. Andrew, if tomorrow we woke up and silver overnight gapped up and went to 68 to $70 and gold at $4,000, what would you do? And tell me about oh, uh, availability and then include in that conversation, what would happen if one billionaire stepped up because he's like, holy, without <laughs> saying the word, um, I need to protect my wealth. So go through those three um, questions. Yeah, absolutely. So if silver did gap up to $60 an ounce overnight, I would have actually have to put a pause on selling it for about it could be a, an hour or two, or it could be half the day. The reason is, is that I'm not going to sell silver based on the new price until I know what it's going to cost me to replace it. And it might take me a, a couple of hours or even half the day to figure that out. Because at first, if you're holding a bunch of silver and it's part of your business, like it is for me, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make any moves in, until I know how much it's going to cost for me to get more. And what I sell for today is going to be based on that and what the wait times are, et cetera. So uh, it's, um, I would have to, at that point, we would be servicing people's IRA accounts. We'll be here answering the phone. We won't really be at the beach, but we used to call it the beach day because it was like, okay, don't really know what to do here. So we might as well go do something fun, but actually we'll be here at the office answering the phones and helping people out. And that can happen. And, um, and then um, other reasons why it could happen is that um, we've got, we talked about this summit in October a little bit where BRICS is expected to announce their new payment system and they're going to completely ditch the SWIFT payment system. Do you know what BRICS is planning to reveal at its October summit this year? There are various reports suggesting that BRICS has already developed a new currency and a payment system and is waiting for the summit. At this event, all BRICS members will unite and collectively launch a new payment system that will be the beginning of the end of dollar and SWIFT. BRICS wants to announce this news at the summit instead of doing it silently. In other words, this time, BRICS really want to create shockwaves that will reach the West. The new BRICS payment system is designed to allow member nations to bypass the Western-dominated SWIFT system, bolstering the bloc's efforts to move away from reliance on the US dollar. Therefore, if this payment system is adopted, the West will no longer be able to enforce the sanctions. It's true that sanctions will be put in place, but they won't be effective because the West won't be controlling the finances of the BRICS countries. There are also reports that the BRICS payment system won't be the only thing launched at the summit. It will be complemented by the launch of a BRICS currency, which would ultimately serve to reduce reliance on the US dollar. Speculation about the BRICS currency's launch date suggests it could be as early as October 2024. We talked about this summit in October a little bit, where BRICS is expected to announce their new payment system, and they're going to completely ditch the SWIFT payment system. There's 50 countries that are already have this in place. So uh, they can just flip a switch and those 50 countries are already using it. And there's 47 new countries ready to join BRICS right now. They've, um, they're, they've, they're already applying to join BRICS ahead of this summit. You have 159 more countries set to adopt the new BRICS, BRICS payment system, which is 81.5% of the Earth's countries.
and uh, and if if you if you let that sink in for a minute and if you couple that with uh, the prophetic um, references that both of you have made on this podcast then it then that $60 per ounce silver gap up it really is possible it is it's um I, somebody wrote to me recently that um, said that I always say that what is good for gold is great for silver. And um, they were challenging that statement by looking at a chart over the last like week up toward that podcast. And I just wanted to say to people out there, we're, we're not trying to be misleading. Owning gold and silver is a longer term hold. So even though these things could happen almost overnight, silver could go to 60 bucks, gold could go to thousands of dollars an ounce. Um, those are possible. It, it can happen at any point. We just need one of these events to happen. But um, when you invest into this, give it two to five years. This is a minimum two to five year hold. So just just keep that in mind. Now, to, to answer the next part of Bo's question, if somebody like Elon Musk was to go was to just go on X and say, uh, um, just just bought uh, one billion dollars worth of gold. If he did that, that that would actually make the price of gold move upward. It, it could be a couple hundred dollars an ounce or even more. I base this on what I've seen him do with Dogecoin. Mm -hmm. And you might remember a few years back, he used some of the um, Tesla, um, some of the cash that he had on the Tesla balance sheet to invest into Bitcoin. And that made Bitcoin reach continual new highs. And that's just one billionaire out of many. So there's there's so many reasons why you need to do this now that uh, that we could spend all day telling you. So it's better to reach out sooner than later. Right now, I feel like this is a bargain. And just just one final thing, um, three um, so-called reputable mainstream um, brokerage houses out there are predicting $3,000 an ounce gold. We've got um, Goldman Sachs. We have um, the Wall Street Journal. We have um, we have Citigroup. And th they're all predicting $3,000 gold. Once you can see it, you know, it's going to happen. The question is how much higher will it go after that? And how long will that take? There is a video that um, we talked about, or actually an, an article from the CME, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And we referenced that, I think maybe a few months ago, but um, we've shown that on this podcast as well too. The CME has uh, price stops. So for silver, it's every $3. For gold, it's every hundred dollars, and I believe there's four of them. So, if a billionaire steps up to load up on gold and silver, and let's just talk about silver for a second, that means that it'll jump three dollars in fractions of a second. They'll lock it up for five. They'll shut the trading down for five minutes. They'll release it for afterwards. It'll go up another three dollars in fractions of seconds. They'll lock it up for five minutes. They'll do that four times. So that's three times four is $12. It'll do in a matter of a few minutes, probably 30 minutes, whatever it is. And then the locks are released. And then it will probably see it leap 10, 20, $30. So $60, $70 become a, a no-brainer for silver in a single day. So, and this is based on the CME requirements or guidelines that they've actually outlined. Okay, so none of this is made up. It's actually all real the point i'm trying to make about this is when these prices are jumping like this you're going to see people like andrew people who are on the internet selling uh, precious metals they're not they're not going to know what the heck to do because every few minutes the price keeps jumping three bucks on silver hundred dollars on gold and so they basically just shut their doors like andrew was saying and at some point andrew will reopen his doors but this is the problem that i foresee and i believe i'm i'll be i'll be end up being probably being correct on this one when this event happens when there's so much money. We've talked about the liquidity out there and how much money they've created. We're not in the millions because that was the Gilligan's Island in the 70s. We're not in the billions. We're, not in the, we're now in the quadrillions, which is thousands of... Literally, they just acknowledge the national debt is 33 trillion, which is a joke. There's 21 missing trillion. Now, there's, there's so much money out there. It's ridiculous. And so if one wealthy person steps up next thing you know all the above ground silver could be bought up and it's gone it's like that saying and it's gone 
you know, that the joke about, you know, the cartoon, yeah. but that's what ends up happening. And when that happens, you will not be able to buy precious metals and uh, metals. I would definitely say you will not be able to uh, acquire silver anymore in any sizable quantities. I call it banner. Hey, I have, you know, a bunch of digits and I want to buy a, a lot of silver. Andrew might be able to sell you a few bars, uh, some something small. But I doubt Andrew's going to be able to send you anything in volume or quantity anymore because basically all of it's bought up. And 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 that's what I, I truly believe is going to happen. So uh, that's where silver is going to ultimately acquire the name unobtainium. Mm. I've actually seen times where it's very difficult to get silver, like where where like all the different coin shops all around the United States are digging through the corners of their safes and just pulling out the little bits and pieces that they have. Like, like I've actually seen that it was in like 2010, 2011. And even um, before my time, I heard that it was uh, the same way in 1980, where they're just scrounging up every little bit of silver that they could get their hands on because no one out there wanted to sell. And um, and remember that um, that silver and gold are actually traded on the futures market as well, and that's part of how the the spot prices are suppressed. Otherwise, when these situations happen, when no one is selling silver, silver would at that point go up into the hundreds of dollars an ounce. It's just it's not allowed to because it's literally controlled by the futures market and held in place by the big banks. And, um, and the big banks and the big banks are using paper contracts. Yep, they yep. use paper contracts to control the price. So that is what they're doing. So what you're looking at when you look at the price of silver, it's not the price of silver in a world worth with a free market. No, no, you're looking at a price of silver in a controlled market using paper derivative contracts. So that's the, the, the essence of what you have to understand. The, when we when silver goes into true price discovery, oh, you want to be on that ride. Let me tell you, you want to be on that right. And to further answer what Andrew was saying, oh, someone called up Andrew, uh, you know, silver is going, uh, hasn't gone up relative to gold. People, please go study history. Because when a bull market breaks vertical, silver follows for a little bit. So we've seen gold leading the, leading the races right now. And then when the, when the market really gets going on gold, Oh boy, you want to see what silver does. Go look at 19, look at that. Andrew just brought up the dates. 19, uh, in the Hunt Brothers, 1970. Uh, man, silver blew past gold in performance. Look what happened in uh, 2005, 2006, seven. Silver blows past. And then particularly into 2011, man, silver blew past the performance of gold into 2011 top, which was predictable based on the Daniel calculation. So what I'm saying is that Andrew is dead on correct when he says what's good for gold is great for silver. And watch and see what happens into year end 2024. Yeah. And so you've been in this business for 39 years. Is that right, Andrew? 30 some years? Yeah. Ever, ever since I was 15 years old. So it's exactly 39 years. So you've we've never had a situation since you've been in this uh, industry that 81% of the world is going to be gold back and, and metals back. This is unprecedented territory. Yeah, I, it's it's completely unprecedented. I mean, so many things have happened in, in 39 years. Like, for example, in, in 1985, when I started working there at, at an actual coin shop, there, there was um, there wasn't really there weren't bullion sales the way that we know the, them today. Like, for example, there wasn't a Silver Eagle there. We weren't uh, like the Krugerrand was was really one of the only things out there or one ounce silver rounds. And the Krugerrand at one point was illegal to have in the United States. So now with, there are so many different gold and silver products that are available to people 39 years later. But over this entire time, we always uh, we were still stacking. Um, in addition to gold and silver, we were keeping dollars. Put them in your sock drawer, put it in the bank, um, put, put it under your mattress. We, we felt that we were safe doing that. But what people really should understand is that when the central banks out there are are um, are importing the most gold that they've ever imported before and putting it in their portfolio, it means that they're preparing for something. 
And, uh, and what they're preparing for is not being told on the mainstream media here. Like you didn't hear about it before or after the debates on, on the channel that you watched it on. They, you can't hear it anywhere, only on podcasts like this, but it is really happening. And, uh, and it really is the end of not just the dollar, but also the Russian currency and the Chinese currency and all fiat currencies. They, they're not backed by anything real anyway. So we'll go to a digital system that is gold backed and we're going to pay for everything electronically with our cell phones and that's going to be the new normal so if it is gold backed then it would make sense that you want to own part of what is backing not just united states currency but the entire world's and that's why it's going to gold will shoot over three thousand dollars an ounce and it's going to pull up silver with it in a big way it this is really really happening i wish people could understand it's happening and and uh, so many people out in the world do see it it's just we're not being given the proper information here in america yeah have you heard the reports out of china today where they had a huge, uh, uh, the, all the electricity went down, cyber. Uh, I don't know if it's a cyber attack, but they're out of power. And the, everybody in China does it off their phone. So they can't get any, uh, get, get to their money. They can't get to the digits. So the most ex- valuable thing right now is people selling chargers for their phone so that they can get charged up enough to try to make uh, a, a transaction. <laughs> that just show you got to have physical silver and gold. <laughs> That, that's uh, th- those are the the new problems and, and new solutions of this this digital age and it's just um i remember last month i read an article that um that israel had done a cyber attack against iran where um for at least one day where when people went to an atm machine to, in iran to try to pull uh, funds out of their account that a political message came up and it explained something like um like um you're not unable to pull funds out of your account today because your country represents this and this and that. Well, th- those things can happen. If, if you need that to go and buy a gallon of milk or some eggs or to feed the family, you're out of luck unless you have something that you can barter with or if you have a lot of really nice neighbors that like you and are willing to help you out. But that can only last for so long. If it's prolonged, if it lasts a month, your nice neighbors are going to eventually have to tell you no. And uh, you'll need something to barter with. And gold and silver are that. So many people came to America um, during... Um, during the Great Depression, or especially during World War II, with gold and silver. Some of them came here with only gold and silver in the clothes on their back and were able to um, to begin their new lives in America with that. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. It's accepted as as the world's currency. And regardless of, of uh, using dollars or digital currency, gold and silver are always going to be the world's currency. Yeah, we happened to be on all three of us together when that uh, event happened in Iran. Uh, it said uh, your government is supporting terrorists and wars, and they couldn't get it. And I had an Israeli general on the next day, and they never tell you. They just kind of give you that look like, mm, I don't know how it happened, but he said it. He said, yeah, we did it, <laughs> meeting Israel. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, let me add, um, and you brought up a very good point, Andrew, because, you know, taking care of your neighbors, that's actually something that we want to consider, too, because, again, we know what's coming down the pipeline here. And I'm just telling you, we, we, we've been warning everybody. Uh, but I want to put this slide up because something the Lord revealed, to, re, Lord revealed to me a long time ago was specifically, you know, what's written in John and the Lazarus moment when Lazarus was dead in the tomb. He was in there for four days on the fourth day. Jesus says, rise, and why was the point of it? The point of it was so the world might see the glory of God. So the United States, and I believe the world, is about to go dark. Now, what day it happens? Is it the end, the end of September here? Uh, is it in October? I'm just telling you, there's a the possibility of this going down now, anytime September 22nd, 23rd into the election is beyond incredible. Like this, this event's going to go down. When this event goes down, I highly suggest, you know, right now, if you have the opportunities to go buy some extra food, some extra water, uh, because your neighbors who don't know what's going on will, will be blessed by you because you did prepare. So this podcast is not, you know, it's not only about, you know, financially, you know, to get to, 
understand finances that are in your bank account, which are not just digits, but also just be able to take care of your neighbors. Extremely important because, again, uh, that's the Christ-like thing to do. We want we want to show love across the world, and that's really the essence of why what we do, what we do, we want to be the beacon of light for the world. And uh, great things are coming, uh, but at the same time, too, this leads to what's called the best of times and the worst of times, okay? And so I've, I've shown before, but, you know, I've done the research on it, the first Thanksgiving. And, and remember, Thanksgiving is like the 28th of November. It's after the election, okay? So the first Thanksgiving that the pilgrims had was in the year 1623. It took them a few years to get set up after the landing in 1620, okay? So 1623 was the first Thanksgiving, which means 400 years of bondage. So Israel was bondage 400 years. That means last Thanksgiving started 400. So we're in the 400 window right now. And this, so therefore this Thanksgiving, this Thanksgiving is the 401st or remove the 400 and you're at the first Thanksgiving, which is what? For what a man soweth, thus shall he reap. And that's scriptural in Galatians. And so these evil ones, this Thanksgiving, this November, is going to be the absolute best of times in the world for those who prepared and the absolute horrific, the worst year the world's ever, and the people of this globalist, of this world could ever imagine, it'll be the worst year of their life. And that's what we're stepping here uh, into. You know, so we're, we're, and then there's a Kim Clement prophecy about September. But this is for you, says the Lord. The tide is turning. For you, a very strange thing shall happen in September. Moving into the fall where there shall be a great fall. Fall of the enemies, fall of kings, fall of princes. Watch and see, for God says beginning in September, I will turn everything around and my people shall see an intervention of a kind that they have never seen before. Beginning in September, you shall see an intervention of a kind the world has never seen before. What does that mean? Hmm. Beginning in September, you shall see an intervention of a kind the world has never seen before. Like, think about that. What does that mean? We've just talked about a bunch of prophecies about Yellowstone. We've got the Revelation 12 sign, which ends on September 22nd which steps us into the 23rd, which is exactly seven years from the Revelation 12 sign. We got Virgo giving birth. All of this is happening right in front of us. And the time clock is incredible. So I just want people to understand that we're living in biblical times. We've seen biblical things happen since 2020. Come on. Yep. The world you know changed forever. Am I wrong? When Corona came on scene, forget about it. Everything's been different. We've been on the tour. I met Pastor Dave and Andrew. The Reawaken tours uh, come come to be. Why? Because we're trying to have people understand we're living in not political times. Yesterday felt very political, hmm. but it was biblical. Yep, biblical times. So, Andrew, what type of action should they take? Definitely reach out to us. Um, go to bh-pm.com, schedule a consultation, and um, put in your first name, last name, email address, phone number, and fill out that online form. And don't forget, when you fill out the online form, there's a name, email address, phone number, and where it says, how did you hear about us? Please put in Bull Pony or Gold 2020 forecast. Today, when I was looking through the submissions, um, I've had people in the notes se section there say, I'm a returning client, I'm looking to add more gold, or I'm looking to add more silver. And in the notes section, be as detailed as you can. So lately, we've um, we've been reaching a lot of people out there that have never even really considered moving into gold and silver before. So they're writing things like, I'm a complete newbie. And uh, I think I have a lot of questions. So can you can you pair me with somebody that is going to be patient with me and not not try to rush me into making a decision? I need to gain the information necessary so that I can make a good decision for me and my family. And and I love to see that. So I, I have certain people that I feel are more patient than others that will will walk you through everything from start to finish, whether or not gold gold might be better for you or silver might be better for you, or, or if you're getting a mix, what percentage. So all of that is important. If you have a 401k or an IRA that you would like to learn about rolling over, 
then uh, go ahead and put that in the notes section. Our IRA department's amazing. And virtually anything that you can think of, I look through every single message and I'll pair you with the right person. So um, our, our uh, response time is within about 24 hours. So do it as soon as you can. Bo, any closing thoughts? You can't stop what's coming. How many times, how many podcasts have we done about understanding God's finance? Okay. God's finance is not your finance that you believe to be the truth. The financial system is a fraud. Everything is a lie. Look what happened yesterday. They lied through their teeth about everything. And the financial system is no different. They've created money out of thin air. And now you've got this Babylonian system that's nothing but a complete and other fraud with nothing but digits in your bank account. Not that's right. Money. All right. That wraps up today's Take 5. Again, a light winds. Go in and shalom.